Today, I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 6, Episode 3. It's the start of a new season. In the previous episode, we saw they were able to successfully bring back Buffy. It was this two-part episode, and Buffy definitely seems disoriented and has kind of been wandering around. She was able to meet up with the rest of the Scooby gang in the last episode, so I'm curious to see where this episode's going to go. She definitely doesn't seem like she's back to being 100% herself. She talked very little and was definitely definitely confused about what's going on. Giles has left Sunnydale and gone to the UK. I don't know if they've had a chance to tell him that Buffy is back and if he would come back to Sunnydale once he finds out Buffy's back or what that looks like or how they're going to explain that situation because obviously Giles knows that she passed away in season five. Dawn was obviously very excited to see that Buffy is back and Anya and Xander are engaged. We had that scene at the end of the last episode with John and Buffy back on that same, you know, tower that they had at the end of season five, which was terrifying, but it looks like Buffy was slowly remembering some things from season five and was remembering that she jumped into this portal. So yeah, I'm very curious to see where this new season is going to go. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join and Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Hey, hey, don't worry, ladies. I'll get us there just fine. My senses are primed for danger. Nothing. Says the guy who followed an airplane in the past episode. Oh my god. Set you on their way out of town. Yeah, now that their leader's gone, they seem to be making with a big skedaddle. Yeah, and Sunnydale's still burning slowly, so I don't know what that means. Probably tortured. It, it, it's like we don't even know how much time has passed there for her. Uh, possibly years. Yeah, all great questions. I hope we get to learn more in this episode. A little. Uh, Willow and Tara live here now. And um, we, we... We didn't do much. Oh, Joyce. she going to remember all over? Aww. Yeah, it's weird to see her get a tour of her own house, basically, and Dawn's hoping this will refresh her memory about some things. Head after. Okay. Here, I'll do the shirt. It's interesting to see Dawn taking care of Buffy instead of the other way around, and see how nice you look? she's talking a little bit more, but yeah, obviously not back 100%. Uh, what, um, what happened? What do you say to him? That's, yeah, the question on everybody's mind. It's and how's okay. he going to respond to them okay. realizing that he brought her back? Thank God. You scared me after death. <laughs> He's like scolding her. Like, where were you? Oh, no. Look. Yeah? Seen the bloody butt before? Didn't think she'd patch ups. It's not the butt. It's not the butt. Yeah, Spike's figuring it out. It's real Buffy. Oh. She's been through a lot with the death. Yeah, that'll do it, yeah. But I think she's okay. He's just like in complete shock. He can't believe she's actually back. And he was devastated, obviously. Um, I was going to fix him. I don't know how they got like that. She had to punch her way out of her own coffin, that's how. Um... Take care of you. Oh, Spike! Oh, so sweet. I'm in 47 days yesterday. Well, I'm in 48 today. That long, really? Oh my gosh! I didn't realize how long it had been. How long was it for you? Where you were? Longer. Yeah, I'm very curious to find out how the time difference would have worked being in the portal and. <laughs> How much longer? Because that's scary. It's okay. You don't talk about this buff. Hey, do you want something? Anything. Pizza. I'll get you pizza. And even the shot of her sitting on the couch and looking up at everybody like this intimidating shot. Long day. But, Buffy, be happy. We got you out. You really did it. She doesn't seem excited to be back, obviously. Look, you're just covering. Don't tell me you're not happy. Of course he's happy, but also he doesn't want it to be something horrible.
It's not that he doesn't want her back, obviously, but... Magic. There's always consequences. Yeah, exactly. There's... There's gonna be some repercussions for this, for sure, and that's what he's worried about. And, like you said, having to unalive her again because something happened when she came back. Yeah, it's not a situation he wants, obviously. But yeah, Dawn and Spike didn't know that they had this whole plan, and now they know. Good and fine. This is the room. You don't have to be brave. And I still love you. Aw, they're so sweet. I'm so glad they're together. They're so cute. You know what I think? I think we were all just assumed crash positions. Huh? They were preparing for the worst. Yeah. Wouldn't you think she'd be so happy that we brought her out? I'm sure she is. Yeah, it's obviously a big adjustment. Say thanks. It's gonna take some time for her to get back to normal. Exactly. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's things she saw and experienced that will come into play much later, but right now it's a lot of- a big adjustment, obviously, and I did not realize she was gone for that long. Like, that's like five months? Like, that's a long time. Um, I'm sorry, what? Why did all their faces turn to skeletons? We saw something similar like that when she figured out, or was trying to figure out what was going on with Dawn, but that was... I don't like that. You're like children. Your hands smell of death. Bitches! Filthy little bitches rattling the bones. Well, this is rude. Where? What? The What's happening? Team. Did you pat its head? Oh my god! Oh! The blood dried on your hands, didn't oh it? God. Oh my god, oh my god. You were stained. You still are. What's happening? Oh my god. Um, okay, that's very unsettling. The glass. There's no glass. In her dreams, she's attacking them? What? In the house? All right, well, you need to get out of there. Just get everyone out. <laughs> Wake up, Buffy. Oh my god, what's going on? Anya, oh my god. Why is she cutting her own f What? What was that? Oh my god. Oh, ghost. Oh, something's moving around through the carpets. Cheese and rice. You mean like uh, some hell beastie rode in with Buffy? Like we're responsible? For of course. Of course that would be what happened. Yeah. Something came back with her. Patrol. Oh, I know we'll find something soon. Yeah. I think she just wants to like be busy and you know distract herself. Here with the others. Don't worry about me. And now, of course, it's in frickin' dawn with these white eyes are terrifying. Oh my god. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Um, hot chocolate for dawn. You're too young for coffee. Idiot. Oh my god. You can have my coffee. <laughs> Did you think the blood wouldn't reach you? I smell the death on you. Look at what you've done! Oh my god! Now she spews fire? Cheese and rice, that's terrifying. Oh, the ancient books! Oh no, 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 they're so flammable! Oh my god! Poor Dawn. Yeah, something came back and is obviously mad that they brought Buffy back in the first place. Oh, there it goes! Is she okay? Yes, but with a knife. No, I'm sure you look really glamorous cutting up your face. <laughs> <laughs> Is he trying to make his hands match Buffy's? What's going on? To protect her. If I'd have done that. Yeah, he blames himself. Oh. I'd see it all again. I'd do something different. Faster, more clever, you know. Oh, he's just been replaying that night over and over. Oh. I'm not possessed. Uh, I, I think I figured it out. This demon, it, it's not a demon we let out. It's, it's a demon that we made. Oh, that's so much worse. So much worse indeed. Uh-huh, except that it's linked to the spell. So if we sent it away... They'd send Buffy away too. Oh, no. The second that you're going to do that. Don't. If you think you can give her back to me and then take her away again, 
That's too cruel. That's way too mean. Yeah. Is if it were to kill the subject of the original spell. It, it would live if it killed Buffy, but that's not gonna happen. Thanks for the tip. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Frick. Ah! We can't do this. I'm not even gonna entertain the fact that Buffy's gonna be unalived in the same episode she's brought back. Nope, nope, not going there. You don't belong here. <laughs> oh, trying to punch a ghost. Oh god, it punches back. Look out. That's rude. Home again. <laughs> Why is the ghost like taunting her? Oh my god, ghost hug. Oh, he's gonna squeeze her to death. Misty, so let me make it more solid so Buffy can kick its fully embodied ass. Sure it'll work? Yeah, that's an interesting approach, but I guess we'll see. I see a foot forming. Yeah, it's gonna become human or something solid. You won't even disturb the air when you go. Well, that's just so rude. Rude ghost. Words. We in tree. What's happening to Willow now? Oh my god, the dark eyes. Oh! Is Willow becoming this thing? Oh, bonked her. Give her the chops, Buffy! Oh, decapitated the ghost. Yeah. Doesn't even get 24 hours without chaos happening. Lunch. Seems like she's getting back to normal, or kind of. You guys gave me the world. I can't tell you what it means to me. Yeah, obviously they were gonna bring her back. There's no way we were gonna go on without her. Aww. Welcome home, Buffy. Yeah, this is the first, like, actual... Even though she's been back, but this feels like the best version of the reunion so far. I still don't think she's 100%, but she's getting a little bit better. So aren't you leaving a hole in the middle of some soggy group hug? Spike wants a group hug. I'm here. I'm good. She's trying, yeah, and Spike's obviously genuinely concerned about her. Wherever I was, I was happy. I thought she said she was in hell. Didn't mean anything. Nothing had form, but I was still me, you know. That doesn't sound like hell at all. Why would she tell people? Mentions any of it really? But I think I was in heaven. Yeah, that definitely sounds like more of a situation than what she told people. Spikes. No, I'm not. Oh. And she's sad she's back in the real world. Hard. And bright. And violent. And now she's got to deal with it all again when she was done with it. And the one after that. Knowing what I've lost. Yeah, it sounds like she wanted to stay there and her friends obviously didn't know where she was and wanted to bring her back and now she's back in the real world, which is hell. So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 6 Episode 3. We're still just getting started into this new sixth season, which is still crazy to say that I'm even on Season 6 already. This episode, I feel like, definitely focused a lot on the aftermath of Buffy being gone. I did not realize she had been gone for five months. They said like 147, 48 days, and just the toll that would have taken on everybody. In my mind, this had been like a week later or maybe two weeks later that Willow would have done this spell. I'm guessing she would need a time to research and collect things. They said they were trying to find that urn, so maybe that's what took so long, but my guess would have been that their first thought would have been right away to try and bring her back, and maybe the thought was there, but they couldn't actually put a plan in place until they had these things, so I can now see why it's a little bit more jarring, and obviously it would be jarring either way, but the fact that so much time had passed and for Buffy to be so disassociated now makes sense, now that we know what is happened and obviously the only true experience they have is with 
angel previously when he went to hell. But he's also a demon, so it would have made more sense that he went to hell. I couldn't really process how Buffy would have ended up there. I mean, I know she has killed a lot of things, but most of those things have been, you know, demons and bad things. Like 98% of that was bad things and she was, you know, helping people and rescuing people. So I didn't know how that would have worked. But obviously we find out at the end that that's not actually the case. It was interesting to see Dawn in this episode kind of take on more of the motherly role and to show her the house and everything that's changed and to see the pictures of Joyce and that Willow and Tara are now in Joyce's room because that was the only room available basically and it felt weird that they would be in there but I understand that they would have needed to use that space and it wouldn't have made sense just to keep that room closed off to the world forever so yeah it's interesting to know that and the fact that they've been looking after Dawn and to see Dawn you know try and help Buffy you know with her shirt and ask her if she wants her to like take care of her wounds and stuff from her hands and just all of these pieces where we're used to seeing Buffy take care of Dawn. Obviously, that was a big part of season five. You know, she's always looking out for Dawn. And even hear Spike in this episode say, like, hey, I'm still going to protect Dawn. That was my goal. And some big heartfelt moments between Buffy and Spike in this episode, for sure. And his reaction when she walks down those stairs was really just, I can't even put it into words because he didn't know that they were planning on bringing her back. You know, he's been going through day to day thinking that she's gone forever and he's been replaying that night over and over in his head, just torturing himself with all the different ways he should have done things differently and can't go back in time and fix it. So he's just replaying it and to hear him say like, I saved you a hundred times since then, or I've saved you every night since then. And he's trying to make amends and now he can actually talk to her again. I think was a, something he thought would never happen. And He's also cautious because he knows that when you play with magic, there's consequences. So he's always been more a little bit in tune to things we can't see yet. Like even before we knew a demon had come back, Spike was saying, hey, there's probably going to be consequences to this, which we definitely saw. And when I was thinking she had gone to hell because that's definitely how they were setting it up and she even says that to her friends that yes she went to hell that there would be a lot more repercussions later on of her remembering things that happened and she's kind of playing it off like I don't want to talk about it because obviously her friends would feel horrible if they knew the truth so I'm sure it'll come out eventually but right now it's just painful to see her process that because she knows her friends care about her and they had good intentions but she was obviously very happy where she was and for Buffy to only confide that in Spike and to trust him with that and he has obviously had experiences in hell and his own you know fighting his own way out of a coffin he's like yeah I've experienced that I could relate to that and when he sees you know her bloody knuckles and everything and they kind of share that bond now which is interesting and They've had their own moments before, but I feel like that was a big episode for Buffy and Spike to have these moments and definitely a bit of a slower episode. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's been three episodes of them going to get Buffy, Buffy coming back. Now this feels like the ending of the trilogy is that, okay, now they're processing the fact that Buffy's back. They did mention that Willow had called Giles, so I don't know when he'll be back, but it's good to know that at least he's coming back. And the very few things that Buffy said in this episode was that she misses Giles as well. And I don't know what his reaction is going to be. I don't know what Willow told him, if she fibbed a little bit, if she was honest with him. But yeah, I'm curious to see what that's going to look like. And now realizing where Buffy left and what she came back to and thanking her friends and it's just that must have been so tough for her but she knows she has to do it because they didn't know obviously and they feel like they did the right thing and that they got her out of a bad situation which is not the truth but again they didn't know that so I feel like she has to put on this face to be like thank you guys and to hear her explaining heaven later on and just know that that was right after she said thank you and that she doesn't really mean it but she has to do that you know show for her friends obviously and to see them all hug and then literally walk outside and tell Spike like I was really happy and it's hell on earth here and she's like every moment I'm struggling to survive and get through and now she has to relive all the pain of her mom passing away and carry that around all the time and they're in dangerous situations constantly so now she has to keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and when 
when she was gone, she could rest and she was calm and she was peaceful because she didn't have to fight anymore. And it was just heartbreaking to hear that. And not that I want Buffy to be gone, but it sounds like she was really happy there. And now she has to come back to a place that she doesn't want to be in because it's a constant struggle for her. And I feel like Buffy's going to have to continue putting on the show and act like she's so grateful to be back. And, you know, at the end, she makes Dawn lunch and brings it out to her because Dawn needs that. And even though Buffy doesn't really want to be here anymore, she's here. So she's going to have to make the best of it somehow. But yeah, it was just not what I was expecting this episode to go at all. I definitely thought that she'd gone to hell because again that's what we were told and that's how they were playing it up so yeah I definitely wasn't expecting that ending they did bring up a few good questions in this episode that I had been wondering as well like how had time works like was it the same amount of time where she was as it was on earth and we find out it's been five months yeah like I was definitely not expecting it to be that long and she said time works differently and like she says later on that it's you know kind of time doesn't have any meaning in heaven where she was and that there's these risks to bringing her back and did Willow know the risks before she did it and would she have done it anyway? I think she did know that there would be some risks obviously. Willow's very intelligent so I'm sure she knew there would there was at least a chance for something to happen but she was going to take those risks with the hope that Buffy could come back and even Tara saying you know we we're in crash mode basically like they were preparing for the worst and then oh it actually worked and now they're kind of adjusting to shifting their mindset from being like okay we were you know going to assume the worst and preparing for that but here she is and seems to be getting back to normal but yeah it's always going to be in the back of my mind now as a viewer that she was in heaven and got pulled from that back to earth and it's interesting that she came from heaven, but somehow they were created this demon that came with her. So I'm curious to learn more about that because obviously we would expect a demon to come from hell and to have this brought back. But maybe it was because she brought back from something good to counter that they had to bring back something bad. Yeah, very interesting now that we know more about the episode. The effects of having everybody's eyes turn white was super creepy and that ghost at the end looked terrifying having it like rush towards the camera like that and when it became you know solid and we see Tara and Willow doing the spell again and Willow's eyes go black and the figure becomes a person that Buffy can actually fight and decapitates was terrifying but the makeup special effects prosthetics all of that stuff looked so cool and so creepy and I know this show came out a while ago I believe this season is from the year uh 2002 which is you know over 20 years ago now but still it looks decent it holds up and definitely would have scared me if I would have watched it you know when I was younger and it was interesting to see this demon kind of travel from person to person as, you know, Buffy shows up in Willow and Tara's room in the middle of the night and is saying some very scary things. And then to go to Anya and Dawn and Dawn literally spits fire out onto the table, which was terrifying. And I'm guessing that was real fire. So yeah, let me know in the comments if that was CGI, but it definitely looked real. And of course, every episode, as soon as they're trying to find a demon or something, they've got piles and piles of these ancient books. So I'm sure Giles will be upset to find out some of his books you know might have lost a few pages overall I thought it was a good episode it's definitely interesting to learn more about Buffy and how long she's gone and all of these questions that I had and to find out if she brought anything back and now I don't know if she would bring anything back from heaven it's obviously very strongly implied that she would have brought back something from hell so yeah I don't think that will be brought back up I thought that piece would be incorporated into later episodes like her bringing something back from hell but obviously that's not the case and it definitely makes more sense why she was so disappointed to be back and disoriented especially the Sunnydale she walked into was very scary with all these fires and looting and all this craziness going on and just the total opposite of what she came from and I don't imagine Spike's gonna tell anybody and we had some good moments between Buffy and Spike in this episode he was genuinely concerned and was trying to help her as best she can and he just says you know like we'll take care of you and you know is making his hands bloody to match her hands and just you can really tell how much Spike cares about her I know his character is far from perfect but anytime it involves anything with Dawn or Buffy you can tell he's so sincere and so genuine and really puts his heart out there and I don't think he can control it I don't think he wants to be that vulnerable but he just cares so much and is even risking going out in the sun 
to have a chance to talk to Buffy and, you know, says something snarky about like, oh, I don't want to get involved in your group hug. And maybe he felt left out. Buffy is okay with having him just sit there quietly and having this moment. And then we find out obviously where she actually went and how the time worked. I'm curious to see if there will be any more consequences of them bringing Buffy back and how she will be in the next episode, what that's going to look like. We saw her get a little bit back to normal, but again, now she's going to have to process losing this thing that she had that she really was happy with and coming back to a place that she doesn't like and dealing with all of her mom stuff again and having the responsibility of looking after Dawn and everything again. I don't know when Giles will be back, but I'm assuming it'll be in the next few episodes. They said he'd be back in a couple days. And we had this episode pick up right where the last episode left off. So it definitely feels like a three-part episode to start the season. We still don't really have like a main villain or anything like that as the season's just started. But thank you so much for sharing and this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And check back often for more awesome content. Yeah, it's weird to see her get a tour of her own house. It's not the butt! She had to punch her way out of her own coffin, that's how. She doesn't seem excited to be back, obviously. Um, I'm sorry, what? Why did all their faces turn to skeletons? In her dreams, she's attacking them? What? Oh my god! Now she spews fire? Oh, trying to punch a ghost! I thought she said she was in hell.